My name is Pradeep Kumar Mahanti and I am a lecturer in uh, Comment Polytechnic Sunpur. So today I am uh, discussing about uh, induction heating. Okay. So what is the induction heating? Induction heating is the process by heating the metal uh, by applying electromagnetic induction. So what actually happen in electromagnetic induction like Here the supply is given that is our induced current and due to the induced current uh, the magnetic flux are created due to the magnetic flux uh, in the surface of the metal or in the secondary side uh, the voltage uh, created and this voltage leads to the leads to the uh, AD current. So here the AD current the surface of metal flows which heated the metal piece. So uh, uh, this induction heating has the principle uh, that is uh, it is operated as, operated as uh, electromagnetic induction and uh, second thing is the Joule's heat effect. So uh, like we know that electromagnetic induction when an induced current uh, produced in a coil there is a magnetic flux created and uh, this magnetic flux uh, induced in the secondary voltage that voltage leads to the eddy current and this eddy current uh, main region for the heating of the element and uh, this Joule's effect is like uh, uh, amount of current uh, rises that the heat also rises that uh, it is directly proportional so uh, how much amount if we raises our electric current then our heat also increases so uh, if you see the application of the induction heating It is uh, used for surface hardening, deep hardening, soldering. and melting okay this surface hardening deep hardening and soldering are done high frequency so at the low frequency we, we do the melting processes so how the melting processes uh, occurs or uh, how in the industries we uh, do melting uh, by process of induction uh, basically we use the induction furnaces so what are the induction furnaces and how the how is their uh, types let's uh, discuss about this So induction furnace, uh, like two types, one is core type induction furnace, second one is the coreless type induction furnace. So core type induction furnace uh, is of uh, three types, that is direct uh, core type induction furnace, indirect core type induction furnace, and uh, vertical core type induction furnace. So let's first discuss about what is the direct core type induction furnace. 
so in the direct core type induction furnace is uh, uh, behave as like as a transformer when the induced supply uh, produced to the primary uh, it induces uh, uh, the current in the secondary and uh, this uh, current uh, as like as uh, this is the eddy current and this eddy current leads heating and uh, this is the charge like our metal pieces which leads to be heated okay uh, here here uh, is the core this one is the primary winding and uh, this secondary winding in the single turn that is uh, used as a annular hearth in an annular hearth the uh, the charge are uh, is to be melted so what is the demerits of this uh, direct core type induction furnace so its first demerit is uh, it cannot be operated um, uh, it cannot be operated uh, without pouring uh, the a small amount of uh, melted uh, metal piece or uh, small amount of melted charge because this melted charge uh, forms as a closed circuit so this is why uh, the short circuit occur and uh, this uh, induction furnace is, is to be start so without uh, the small small amount of uh, the small amount of uh, molten piece or the small amount of mol molten charge it cannot be started so this is why uh, we need this one and uh, second thing is and it cannot be operated in the high frequency so like uh, the current density is uh, if we raised like five, 500 ampere per centimeter square uh, uh, it produces uh, more uh, reactance and uh, this is why uh, this operation will not be happened so this produces as a pinch effect so what is exactly a pinch effect uh, due to the high frequency or uh, due to the uh, more uh, reactance and uh, uh, this uh, in this annular hearth the charge are repelled to each other the charge are repelled to each other. Due to this repulsion, uh, it is a chance of the overflow of the charge or the ma molten metal from the annular hearth. So this is the uh, biggest uh, demerit of this uh, direct type uh, induction furnace. Let's uh, discuss about the next type of induction furnace. And that is our vertical core type induction furnace. So and this induction furnace uh, basically uh, the uh, the uh, charge is melted at the v channel so in this v channel the charge is melted and uh, uh, here is the inlet where the charge are input here and here is the spout so benefit of this uh, vertical core type induction furnace is that it can be tilted it can be tilted or easy for the pouring or uh, easy for the extracting the uh, melting uh, metals so uh, the, through this the spout we can uh, tilt it tilt 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 uh, process is occurred uh, by the um, hydraulic process and uh, this through the and uh, and a uh, second thing is that uh, it's a very uh, in convection process it occurs melting so it is uh, very efficient so we use this uh, vertical core type induction furnace and is uh, it is operated in the uh, regular frequencies it is not need as a low frequency okay let's uh, discuss about indirect type induction furnace so indirect in this type of uh, induction furnace uh, indirect core type induction this uh, this is the primary winding and this, this is the secondary wiring and it uh, in between that uh, there is a um, uh, heating belt and in the heating belt the metal piece are uh, uh, Mm. Uh, 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 metal pieces are uh, heated so these metal pieces are uh, very uniform because uh, this uh, indirect uh, type core uh, core type induction furnace is uh, behave as the radi radiation heating so like our ovens heat heated the uh, things like uh, here is the metal are heated by the process of induction so it is uh, very convenient way and it is easily heated so this is why indirect uh, core type induction furnace is so much safe so uh, this is the indirect type core type let's discuss about the next uh, that is our coreless induction furnace so nowadays coreless induction furnace in many, many industries like ferrous metals and uh, non ferrous metal if you want to heat so coreless induction furnace is uh, better for this purposes so in which what happen uh, so this is the inlet where the charge to be input 
and uh, uh, in the side of that uh, that is the primary winding primary winding in primary winding that is copper tube why do we use the copper tube because uh, this copper tube uh, due to the high frequency it is only operated in high frequency due to the high frequency uh, the copper uh, 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 due to the high frequency, um, it is uh, shows the some problem. So we uh, require uh, uh, copper tube. So we can throw this copper tube. We can flow the water supply. So due to the water flow supply, the due to the overheating that can be reduced. And uh, uh, by as like as the charge enter into the furnace and uh, uh, eddy current heated the um, uh, metal and uh, made this uh, element. And by this way, uh, we can uh, extract the uh, melting metals and the charge. So thank you so much for this video.